everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today, Shannon and I are going to be working on some DIY projects for Fran the Adventure Van. <laughs> uh, one of the things I've been trying to get find the time to do is to make um, a sheet for it that actually fits the cot. Now, if you buy a twin size sheet for these particular cots, they're way too big. So I picked up two twin sheets and I've washed them and I'm going to iron them and measure them out to where they fit on the um, cots. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to put a hem on them because I'm going to have to cut down some twin size sheets in order to do that. But I'm going to utilize our blankets that are on the bed to get the size that we need for the cots. So these are the blankets that we bought for the cots. And I think the cots are, I'm not sure of the dimensions right now. 60, 65, 65 to 67 long. It depends on where right you measure. 25 inches wide, I think. Yes. Yep. So uh, anyhow, these we picked up at the Vera Bradley store. They're actually Vera Bradley blankets. And they work fine, um, but we are looking for something a little bit different than these. But I'm going to utilize this blanket right here to cut out and hem uh, some seam whoops, uh, to create the sheets that we want the top sheet for each of the cots. measured based on the blanket that we use in the van uh, to create the sheet that size that we want for those particular cots. Ended up coming out 83 inches times 48 inches, so I'm just going to cut it out. Then I'm going to put a 5 to 8 inch hem in it, and uh, we'll have us a sheet here pretty soon. But I've got to do that two times. Now, just so you guys know, uh, this is a 100% cotton sheet. I love cotton against my skin, so I had to have cotton sheets. <clears throat> but anyway, I know you guys have heard us talk about our yard sale finds. Well, this is one of them, as well as the sheet I'm going to be using for Shannon's, but I've been out hunting when we were out at yard sales for new sheets, and I wanted them to be 100% cotton. So I found two at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. <laughs> this is actually, I think, a full size. It might be a twin, but I think it's a full size sheet. Um, that I would feel okay cutting down because I only spent a dollar on it. So, all right. All right, so I know that typically Shannon and I, when we share our lunch spot, it's outside somewhere with a cool view. Which is where we would prefer to be. Right. It's pretty darn hot today. Yeah. It's one of the reasons that we're in today. Um, taking advantage of a really super hot day and I I have the time right now to, to do the sheets, so we're inside today working on some projects. Anyhow, we're having lunch here in the kitchen, and we're going to share with you this is our lunch spot today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a working lunch, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, we laid this out. I've cut out the fabric, so I have now two unfinished edges. I, I'm utilizing the finished edge on one side and then the top finished edge of the sheet. So I'm, now I have to make like a seam. Um, so I'm going to go use my iron to press it down so that I'll have a seam to sew down. But that's what I'm getting ready to, to do next. And I'm not being real exact on everything, but uh, just an easy way to get um, the nice size sheet that we'd like to have on the beds done. And it's pretty basic. 
So right now I'm making my seam so that I can sew it down and have a nice finished edge. Alright, so now I'm, I've <clears throat> made a seam, as you can see. Alright, I'm just going to sew it down. That's pretty much all there is to it with a basic straight stitch. So. not perfect but um, it works I've got a, a seamed edge on both of the edges that I cut with scissors and now I have a sheet for my bed Karen did hers, so now I'm gonna do mine. Just kidding. <laughs> she only does it so. Alright. Now we're gonna finish Shannon's sheet for her. <laughs> and I had to do one for her because she saw me doing one for my bed and she started whining. <laughs> so I was like, I'll make you one too. Alright, so anyhow, here we go. So, like I said, just finished making the sheets. Now I've already washed these and dried them and then I ironed them. Now I don't typically iron my sheets. But uh, <clears throat> anyhow, to sew them, to put the, the hem, I had to. Alright, so anyhow, I'm going to get it on and show the size it turned out to be. So, it <clears throat> fits the bed pretty good. It'll cover me. And again, it's the same size as the blanket that we're using on the bed, this size right here. So plenty of sheet to cover me. What was it, 83? Our blankets were 83 by 48? No. These? Yeah, 83 by 48? Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, so that is what we have. These are actually 25 inches wide, I believe and 65 inches long. 65. All right, so I cut a sheet back for Shannon once before it was actually too small. Yeah. So as compared to what we have now, that give you an idea. <laughs> kind of gives you an idea of how much better <laughs> this is going to work for us. Yeah. So that's hanging over each side. So when you're laying there and you're not like yeah half un. Well, and I like that there'll be some because um, I like to tuck mine alongside of the the cot, and then it keeps it keeps the draft from coming in. Kind of makes that cocoon. Shannon's busy getting her bed made. So Shannon has finished her bed. We got the beds made. I think the sheets are going to work out great because there's they hang over each side now. Uh, I didn't even use one because it was too small for me. It, would, it just drove me nuts. But um, yeah, now we both have a decent size sheet for, for this particular size cot. And Shannon is going to lay on the cot so you can kind of get an idea of how long these cots are and why we had to like specially cut down sheets to make them. I mean, sheets are huge. Anyhow, yeah. There you go, yeah. So 
I think these are only about 65 inches long. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. So five feet five. Well, Shannon's five foot five. I'm five foot four. So these are perfect for us. Right, and they wide enough for the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right, guys. So hopefully um, today's little DIY experiment and uh, project that we had help somebody else out there that also has this style of cot or bed in their van. Um, I like to have a sheet on my bed and especially this time of year when it's this really hot weather that we're having, a sheet is about all I want. Um, so I really wanted to get those done and made up for the uh, van now so that we could use them. I guess an additional note, I just want to personally thank Karen, thank you, for also doing my bed because as you saw, I, I don't sew. Um, I had one job, it was to cut my sheet and I cut it wrong. <laughs> and no, no, I had two jobs. And then the other job was to break down the ironing board, which I also couldn't do. So thank you, Karen, for <laughs> making a great job. She's <laughs> for, a big helper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching.